Hey, welcome to the 5-Minute Bible Study. My name is John. I want to help you be a disciple of Jesus. And so in this series, we're looking at what does it mean to be a disciple and how can you and how can I be one? And you know, one of the real struggles with that is we're bombarded by just thousands of messages every day from a whole host of different voices, aren't we? Like social media, and the news, and movies, and TV, and books, and friends, and texts, and memes, and all this stuff. They all tell us what they think is important, what they think we should think is important, and how we should understand life and what life is all about. And that makes it really, really hard to really sort it all out and know, man, what really should I believe and what really is important? And so here is the big question for this video that I want to make sure you get. If you're going to be a disciple of Jesus, then here's this, this question you have to answer. Who's your teacher? Who's your teacher? And in this video, I want to answer that by saying this. If you're going to be a disciple of Jesus, then here's the thing. Jesus has to be your teacher in his school of life. In fact, if you recall in the very first video in this series, we said that in essence, that's what it means to be a disciple. It means to be an apprentice in Jesus' school of life. Listen to these words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 11 that really is his invitation to us as disciples. Jesus says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Man, notice that, that Jesus calling us to be his disciples actually wants to give us rest, rest of heart, body, mind, and soul, rest from all the striving and all the confusion. He wants to give us rest. And listen to how he goes on. He says, take my yoke upon you. A very classic uh, phrase referring to discipleship in kind of Jesus' context was to take my yoke upon you. That means, you know, the imagery is that of like, say, you know, to... Uh, oxen pulling a plow, both wearing a, 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 you know, a yoke. That's the imagery, but it came to refer to like a rabbi's yoke was his teaching, his way of life, his way of understanding God, the scriptures, and the world, and what it meant to be human. Take my yoke upon you, Jesus says. In other words, become my disciple. And then he follows it up with, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest. For your souls. That's Jesus' call to us to be disciples. He, he's offering us rest and we will find rest for our souls when we take his yoke up on ourselves and we begin to learn from him. And so kind of the second building block in being a disciple is learning from Jesus. We enter into this transforming friendship, as we talked about in our last video, in order to actually learn from him and to learn his way, to learn his values, to learn his approach to life, to learn his understanding of the scriptures, to learn his understanding of God and what it means to be human. And we learn from him. And Jesus says the, the benefit of that, the promise to us is you will find rest for your souls. In fact, this idea of learning from Jesus really is um, at the heart of the Bible reading plan that I have on my website. I put that together actually several years ago, just as sort of almost like a follow Jesus be, uh, Bible reading plan. Um, you know, we so desperately need, you know, just some guidance in how to do life. And Jesus, I believe, is the best guide for life. And so why not listen to his teaching and listen to those who are the closest to him, his apostles, and how they applied his teaching to other people's lives so that we could actually learn to follow Jesus. And that is a key component of what it means to be a disciple. Jesus becomes our teacher in how to do life. And if that's gonna happen, we actually have to have confidence that Jesus knows what he's talking about, that Jesus knows best. We actually have to have confidence that Jesus is actually smart, that he, he actually is brilliant. He's the smartest guy in every room, and he actually knows what's best for us. So that if we, you know, hear somebody give this bit of advice, and then we hear Jesus give advice, and those two pieces of advice don't line up, we assume, well, Jesus knows better than this guy, even though this guy supposedly is an expert, right? Or if we have some belief, some idea about how to do life, and then we read what Jesus says, and we realize, oh man, Jesus is saying something different than what I thought. Well, guess what? Jesus knows best, and so my ideas will have to be set aside. I'm going to go with Jesus. 
That's what it means for Jesus to be our teachers. We believe he's smart. We believe he actually knows what he's talking about. And we're going to listen to him. And we're going to say, all right, out of all the other voices that clamor for our attention, I'm going to trust Jesus' voice the most because I have the most confidence in him. That's what it means to walk by faith. That's what it means to trust Jesus. And so, if you want to be a disciple and I want to be a disciple, we have to trust Jesus enough to listen to him and to learn from him. And if we do, Jesus says, we will find rest for our soul. And so the action step I would give you is this. Read Jesus' teaching and listen to it and begin to put it into practice. Like, in learning from Jesus, the goal isn't for us to take notes. The goal for us is to take action. So read Jesus' teaching and take action. Don't just take notes. Don't just highlight. Don't just circle key words, right? When you listen to a sermon and you hear, oh, this is what Jesus says we should do, don't just write it down like in you know, the bulletin handout or take a note in your phone. Actually take action. And so let Jesus be your teacher by taking action on what Jesus says to do. And if you want to know more about what it means to be a disciple, you can check out these other videos right up here. Um, and if you haven't already and you find this kind of teaching incredibly valuable, then go ahead and just click subscribe right up here. Um, and that way you'll never miss an episode. God bless you guys. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.